All right. So, uh, what'd you make? You made top 128 in uh, in YCS Secaucus. Yeah, boy. With el with what? With what? Element Sabers. Element Sabers. All right. Let's see the deck profile. I literally I went five and zero to start the tournament. Uh, lost my game six. Went on the feature match. One went six and one. Uh, lost my next match to go six and two, and then one to go seven and two on the day. All right, let's get into this spicy so, meatball. Let's, let's get into it. Let's go. Two Lapolila mana makes him okay. immune when I drop him, and all my elemental savers and lords become L immune. Very spicy. Very very. And nice. if I send them, and if I, and if I have both these boys up, everything is immune to everything. No targeting. No destruction. My battle. No destruction. My card effect. That's glorious. That's great. And then we got two Makanis. Send one from either deck. Uh, with the field spell or from hand to search a elemental saber or lord. That comes really spicy and handy in future combos. To Malo, I just use him as a as a pitch target really. He can send one from hand and in this case deck to send another from deck if I need to, but he's really just a pitch target to get a name engrave and him and all the all elemental sabers, except for Lapulu Lamana, can change their attribute engrave to whatever I want. Okay. To Malehu, He's a dark, he uh, is also Book of Moon quick effect, and he can also change his attributes. Okay. La Pulila, the little guy, negates the activation of spell and traps once per turn, sending from hand or deck to grave, and his defense is thick. 2100 for a level four. 2100 for a level four, that is good shit. Two copies of, I just call her Ana, because Aina, Aina, like whatever, Send one from either deck or hand to grave, special from grave. If you have one in grave, you can literally send the same card from for cost and then special. I use it with a combo to get out uh, Makani. Is that the uh, what, what, what's your record? Yeah. Uh, 13 and 2. Okay. Yeah, one BLS, searchable BLS. Wait, does that guy know? Does that guy know you play Element Sabers? Yeah, boy. Oh, he knows. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. BLS, searchable, and I can drop him so easy because I can make any monster a different attribute. Going on to the big boys, one searchable Moulin Glacia rips mm -hmm. two cards into your opponent's hand. One searchable Phosphoraz, aka my second Raigeki, and one Windrose, aka my searchable Harpy's Feather Monster. Mm -hmm. Love it. And they can't be destroyed by battle, targeting, whatever, if I have the big ones. Two, uh, three copies of Photon Thrasher just to get my plays started so I get an extra monster on the field so I can make um, my Isolde in my extra deck. Okay. Two copies of Planet Pathfinder to find my field spell because the field spell is the play starter of this whole entire deck. It's so important. Hand traps. Two copies of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Probably the best hand trap in the format, I would say. Two copies of Effect Veiler. I like it in place of Infinite Impairments. This is probably a $2 card, while Infinite Impairments is $80, and this card does the same shit. Three copies of Marauding Captain, because it's Captain. I can Captain Lock people, I can Special and make a Soul Day, it's Spice. I can OTK City when I have his Effect Resolve. Three copy of Palace. This is the Heart and Soul of the deck, skips your next battle phase, but I can abuse it more than once per turn and I can send from deck to grave. Okay. That's how I feed my graveyard, do whatever I want to to your board. Your board is now clear, and I get OTK City. Three copies of Terraforming to search the field spell. Three copies of Generic City um, Equips. This card just gives it 500, goes on the top of the deck. Moon Mirror Shield, we all know what that does. Your opponent attacks into it, it gains 100. This is the spice. Ring of Magneticism. If I have one captain and another monster, it makes captain lock. It forces another captain lock. One monster reborn, one re rota of the army, and two copies of elemental training to finish the traps. This can target out and can protect my field spell. Next, we're going to go to the extra deck. One is sold. She's a badass bitch. She makes this deck ridiculous. I make it, and this is how I OTK people. I send a grave, I make my targets, and it's nuts. One topologic Trisbania. Trisbania is nuts as shit. I can make her, I can do this, I can special anything in her zone, get rid of all my opponent's stuff, and now I'm free to do stuff, and I burn them. So it's freaking awesome. One copy of 
Link Spy Tour, just to get rid of some stuff if I need to. Problematic. Nightmare Cerberus, Nightmare Mermaid, Nightmare Phoenix, Topologic Bomber Dragon, Decode Talker, Underclock Taker for the Links, Baguska, Sylvan High Protector, he's nuts, um, with my two um, Elemental Lords, I can make him. Call any card I want. You can check out my. Um, you can check out my um, match profile on uh, on uh, Konami.com, my feature match, where I use this to win. Called Exodia, the Forbidden One. I don't play Exodia. We got Castell. It was like a minute. Utopia Beyond, a Mystical and Diamond Diamond. They're 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 this out. We're good. Alright, I'm back after that weird interruption. Um, I'm back with my side deck and a little combo, and I'm going to go over my win totals as well. I have one copy of Twin Twister, three copies of Drone and Lockbird, cited these in a lot for the tournament. Yes, I know I'm playing two rares and a Kaiba collection, because I just like that odd numbers. One Grand Soil, I did, never, I did not side him in once the tournament, which was crazy. Two copies of Prohibition. One copy of Cosmic Cyclone, one copy of Raigeki, two copies of Red Reboot specifically for the Ultra Guys matchup. Um, I sided it in against the Trickstar Brandish matchup as well, but specifically for um, Ultra Geist. Two copies of Royal Decree again, specifically for the Ultra Guy. Uh, again, specifically for the Ultra Guys matchup, and two copies of Unending Nightmare. No surprise here again for the lovely Ultra Geist matchup. Now going into my win totals, I will show you guys it right now on my phone I took down. I had round one I played against Pure Brandish, 2-0. Round two against Mermail, 2-0, 2 OTKs. Round three, Pure Brandish, 2-0. Round four, Burning Abyss, a 2-1 win. Round five against Trickstar Brandish, a 2-1 win for me. Round six, my first loss of the tournament, Trickstar Brandish, 0-2. It was a pretty close matchup. But I got draw and lock comboed twice, and that was the end of me. Going 5-1 and one into round 7, which was my feature matchup. I 2 one to fur hires. You can check out that matchup on the Konami blog. I'll leave a description below. Round 8 against Altergeist. My side deck, my emesis, my nemesis for the whole day, my nemesis deck forever. Altergeist, I got 2 one and um, I sided in my red reboots. I red, re red rebooted him in all three games. I also um, hit him with um, uh, Topologic Trisbania, which is a killer for them. Because I red rebooted and then cleared all of his back row away with Topologic Trisbania. I just wasn't able to OTK him in game three. Brought him down to 2,000 and there's my hq deciding to come in and round nine against trickstar brandish i 2 won them going seven and two for the tournament with this deck i was probably one of the talks of the tournament i know a lot of people were upset that i didn't show up for day two um, i made day two um i needed to go one win one draw or two wins and i would have made uh top 32 of the tournament however i did not show up i was tired and i just wanted sleep <laughs> so I drove a long way back home, stopped off at uh, Applebee's with some buds, but I'm going to go over my combo for you guys really, really quick. So, um, all you need for this combo, it's a two-card combo, it is Palace of the Elemental Lords, and one monster, you need one monster, or sorry, it's two monsters, you need two monsters that you can get onto the field somehow. You need two monsters somehow that you can get onto the field, it, the whole entire combo runs you so many different cards where you can get hit on, but um, you can go uh, Photon Thrasher, Special Summon, and one Normal Summon. You can hit any of these monsters, or you can even Special Summon your Lapuli the Mana off of um, Palace Sending 2, but I want to keep that, so let's go with, you can even go Marauding Captain, Special Summon, you can, Photon, Photon Thrasher and a Normal Summon, Marauding Captain and a Normal Summon, or a Normal Summon and Mana will get you there. Um, I just like the mana because mana allows the OTK to happen more fluid unless your opponent hits you somewhere. Against my opponent, he um, solemn striked my mana summon, which allowed me to OTK anyway. Uh, mana gets you the damage on board. He gets you the enough damage. So let's get into it. Let's go Photon Thrasher, and Marauding Captain's going to stay off of this combo. And let's go Marauding Captain, and let's go Malehu. So now you have this board. 
Now you're going to search your Lapalula mana off of Elemental Lords. You're going to special mana, utilizing Palace of the Elemental Lords effect to send two copies from deck to grave. You're going to send a copy of Makani, and you're going to send a copy of Malo, protecting all of your cards from battle and card effect, now all of your element sabers so that he can't get rid of them. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to overlay Sorry, you're going to Link Summon with Photon Thrasher or any other monster. And Malehu to go into Assold, who is the beast of this deck. Assold, Two Tales of the Noble Knights. You're going to activate her first effect, searching La Pulila. Next, you're going to activate her second effect, sending two copies of Equip Spells from Deck to Grave. I'm not going to show my Equip Spells in this because it's really up to personal preference. But I'm going to Special Summon Ana to any zone, doesn't matter. Ana's effect is going to activate. I'm going to send my copy of La Pulila to the graveyard. To special summon a copy of Element Saber Makani. Next, what you're going to do is you are going to activate Makani's effect. If you have another monster in hand or you have a palace or whatever. Let's just say I have another monster in hand. Let's just like a um, Element Saber monster. Otherwise, I would search an Element Saber. Let's just say I have another Malo in hand. So I ditch the Malo. And I search for a copy of Phosphorage, the Elemental Lord. Now, since I have one, two, three, four, five different lights, because I can change their attributes in Grave, I can special summon out Phosphorage, the Elemental Lord. Phosphorage Regeki is my whole entire opponent's board. Now I have five different lights in Grave, giving all my monsters 200 additional attack, because I have to change their attributes, which would be 2600 direct, 1500 direct, 1100 direct, 1800 direct, and 3000 direct for game. That is the game on board, the OTK turbo of this deck, which requires um, two monsters somehow to get into a sold, and then just ditch targets. All you need is ditch targets where uh, multiple palaces get you there or anything like that. It's an OTK of the deck. It's really, really spicy. It's really, really cool. I highly recommend it. And all of your monsters cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect then except for Assault, so if your opponent hits you with Mirror Force, the Assault dies, but you still are getting in massive damage. You're still getting in 2,600 points of damage, 3k of damage, which would put you up to 5,600 damage, which would be 6,700 damage, and that wouldn't be game anyway. You don't even need the Assault, so if they hit you with Mirror Force, if they hit you with any card um, that destroys your monsters um, by card effect, it, it does not matter because you're still going to get it in the 8,000 points of damage. So that's my OTK, and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. All right? Peace.